Good morning, my friends. It's Tuesday, January 7th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. It is the season of Epiphany, the season of the showings. And we are looking here at a ring galaxy. This is very, very far away, 300,000 light years away. The ring galaxy itself is larger than our Milky Way, our galaxy. It is spiraling off in the heavens. When it comes to the work of science and the work of astronomy, the language that they speak is math. And I'm afraid I am a primitive human when it comes to math. I don't do math very well. But my husband is a mathematical genius. Well, according to my standards, which are very low, but still, he's good at it. And I do know that math is able to express things that words cannot. And to give a precision of measurement that words cannot hold. So when we look to the heavens, we use math. During this season of epiphany of miracles and showings, um, we're going to be beginning in the book of Revelation and we're going to walk through some of Paul's letters. Today we begin in chapter two of Revelation. Jesus in heaven, this is a vision of John of Patmos on the island of Patmos. He's having a vision and he sees Jesus surrounded by seven lampstands. And Jesus will give seven messages to seven churches, to the angels of seven churches. And the first message is to the angel of the church of Ephesus. Revelation is full of numbers. It's full of math because it is trying to explore what lies beyond this world. And the language is numbers. Often the number seven is used. Seven is an ancient concept of a complete number, a prime number that holds a lot within it. And it is sacred. It is often in the Old Testament called the Jubilee year, the seventh year was to be a year of celebration and of rest. And as you remember, when God created the world, the seventh day was a day of rest. And so seven churches is a complete number. It represents all the churches, the completeness, um, because of course there were so many more churches by the time of John of Patmos. And Jesus is speaking to the angel of the churches, the messenger. Could it be that there is an angel that looks over each and every church, each and every community, a special celestial being that watches over? It's possible. I do know from visiting many churches in my lifetime that each one has a certain flavor, each community, a certain beauty, sometimes a certain dysfunction. Could it be that there is a spirit to a community? And who are these messengers? Were they the head pastors? Were they a spokesperson? Or were they really celestial beings? Angelos is not clear, it's a messenger. But we do know that John in the vision sees seven, completeness of churches, with a beautiful message for each and every one of them. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the miraculous workings of this universe and for the fact that you, through science and math, are opening our eyes further to see farther and farther out into space. We thank you for our mathematicians, for our scientists, for those who are able to speak in languages that many of us cannot. We thank you for the gift of our lives and the beauty to see. I will pause and let you give thanks for anything you're grateful for today.
Lord, we ask you to bless those who suffer today, those who are lonely, who are sick, who are physically disabled or mentally struggling. I will pause and let you pray for anyone who is in your heart today. Call us, Lord, into your service. Lead us with your light. Help us to see your glory in this world. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.